the swim. Often the most grueling, most intimidating part of your race. Taxing every muscle in your body in unpredictable conditions, and thrusting you into a pack of swimmers that can cloud your senses. Swimming distances in a triathlon race generally range from 800 meters to 2.4 miles. Unlike competitive swimming, when you finish the swim leg of a triathlon, the race has really just begun. Hi, I'm Mike Doan, USA Triathlon resident swimming coach. During my 35 years of coaching swimming, I've developed methods and techniques to take swimmers all the way from the beginning level to world class. And speaking of world-class athletes, I'd like to introduce Olympian and world champion triathlete, Andy Potts. Hi, I'm Andy Potts, and I've been working with Mike Dunn now for seven years. He's taken me from a fledgling triathlete all the way to the top of the world. From the pool to the open water, I'd like to share with you the methods that got me there. Let's go to the pool. Freestyle is the fastest of the four competitive strokes. The world's top triathletes train freestyle almost exclusively in their daily training regimens. Freestyle, as with any of the four competitive strokes, begins with proper body position. The proper head position will allow your body to stay in a stable horizontal position. Keeping your eyes focused at a downward angle is critical for position. Now look at this swimmer. This is poor technique resulting in many common mistakes. Eyes are looking forward rather than down, resulting in a drop of the lower body, with the net result being an increase in drag. Watch Andy. Notice his head position. It's controlled by his eyes. His eyes look downward, allowing his body to stay horizontal, aided by an effective but not overdone kick. Symmetry is another key component in freestyle swimming. The right and left side of your body should be identical in terms of stroke mechanics. Your head, your hips, your legs and feet should be in a horizontal line. The right and left side of your body should mirror one another. Your rotation should be symmetrical following your hip and upper body rotation. The recovery and pull phase of your stroke should also be symmetrical. Now look at this example of an asymmetrical stroke. While one arm is pulling straight back, the other is crossing beyond the midline, not allowing this swimmer to hold proper body position. Freestyle is generally broken down into three components. The pull and recovery, kick, breathing. Freestyle pull and recovery. The pull phase is really a matter of anchoring or stabilizing your hand and upper arm at the point of entry or catch phase of your stroke and leveraging yourself forward by holding the water and driving your hip into the front of your stroke. By driving or rotating your hip while you are holding the water, you are generating maximum force and power. The same type of force or torque generated in a golf swing or throwing a fastball. Watch Andy. He stays on his anchor side until his recovery arm is about to enter the water and then rotates his hips hard as he drives his recovery arm forward. At the beginning of each stroke, keep your elbow higher than your wrist and keep your fingertips pointed downward. If you are swimming with an efficient stroke, your hand will exit in front of your entry point. Thus, you aren't pulling but holding the water and propelling your body forward.
Kicking. As we mentioned earlier, kicking helps maintain proper body position. The kick is initiated in your core with energy being transferred into your hips, thighs, and lower leg. Notice Andy's kick when he is swimming at maximum speed. Propulsion is generated both in the downbeat and the upbeat of the kicking motion. Now look at this swimmer. Another common mistake is a poor or complete lack of kick. The legs are dropped behind providing no propulsion. Kicking is also a tremendous source of power and forward propulsion, but not without cost. Train your kick and use it as a weapon. Be selective when you throw your legs into your race. For example, the first 100 to 300 meters, as well as the finishing portion of your race. A strong kick at the finish of your race will wake up your legs and possibly help you pass a few tired swimmers at the end of the swim. The last but not the least important component of freestyle is breathing. Your breath begins as the pulling arm is beginning to exit the water and as your opposite arm is holding your body position. Your breath should be completed as your recovery arm is beginning to move forward. This is an example of poor breathing technique. Over-rotating during the breathing cycle causes the body to fall out of alignment. Just as you would not hold your breath at the beginning of the run or the bike leg, you certainly do not need to hold your breath at the beginning of the swim. An oxygen deficit early in your race is a recipe for disaster. Breathe in a manner that creates a steady state of oxygen delivery. A few tips. Breathe every stroke, even at the beginning of the race. Breathe to both sides if possible. Watch how Andy incorporates breathing while sighting. Include sighting every day in your training.